Enoch was a man who became godlike, and he built a city, and the city of Enoch became so holy that it transcended this dimension, as it's described in this book. There are certain signatures, and throughout Scripture, we see references to people getting keys, right? We've all heard about the keys of Peter, the keys of Melchizedek, the keys of Enoch. There's a book called The Keys of Enoch as well by J.J. Hertak that's worth reading if you're interested to learn more about this. And I feel like there is this frequency, maybe it's a frequency connection, it might be an incarnation connection, that ties several of these people throughout history together. And they all have sigils as well, which is kind of interesting. Even as recently as someone like Saint Germain. Saint Germain was this very interesting character from like the 18th century that everyone thought lived for possibly hundreds of years even. He was very charismatic. He could hold a conversation, but he never ate at dinner. He didn't age, and that's what people claim about him. And you'll find him throughout history, like involved in things like the American Revolution. He's like showing up in different places. And this guy's really interesting because he speaks many languages. He's extremely charismatic.